Hi guys, I'm Charlie, a Charlie Book Fanatic. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do the rainy day book tag. I was tagged by Lauren over at Burn Fiction. I will link her channel down below. It is actually not a rainy day, it's just cloudy. It has rained today, but overall it has just been cloudy. But if I have to wait for rain to come, I think I can wait a very long time. So let's start with the first prompt, which is actually rain. The book that makes you cry every time you read it. And this is going to be one of the most obvious choices ever, but it is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alire Sanz. This book is about Aristotle and Dante who meet at the local swimming pool and become the best of friends. They've never really had any friends, but they find that they have a very strong connection and can share everything with each other. This book was written very poetically and it's probably one of the first books that actually made me think, it made me feel something and every time I reread it I still cry because I feel like Benjamin Ali Sanz really knows how teenagers feel and he worked it in such a beautiful way that I can't help but connect to it. Puddle. Pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water. And I picked The Lifeboat Click by Kathy Parks. I had a very hard time picking a book, but then I was like, oh my god, this is such an obvious choice. This book is about a girl who becomes the victim of a tsunami and she and her friends have to survive. The whole house is underwater and she is stuck on this boat with people she really hates, but they have to survive together. Some of her friends have even died. And they have to survive for a very long time and get through this tsunami without any food or drinkable water. Rain Boots. Pick a book with a character with a damned soul, as in the soul of your rain boot, obviously, but also the soul as in your inner soul. And I went with Uprooted by Naomi Novik, and I'm specifically talking about the villain of this story, which is Woods. And the Woods are, is actually a very evil forest, a very evil forest that corrupts people and takes them in and feeds off of their life and energy. Umbrella. Pick a book that was big and comforting. Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. This book is so big, but I love Jane Austen's stories because they are also comforting and they describe this, his, these historical real life situations. It's nothing big, it's just normal for that time situations and I always feel very comfortable while reading Jane Austen's works, but specifically this one. I just felt like this one was, it is very big, but it also was the most comforting because most of the book is describing a play, like the first half of it, and it's just very idyllic and something I could totally invest my time into and get stuck into this world. Rainy Day Movie. Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you would love to watch on a rainy day. Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. I have read the book and I had some I had huge problems with it, but then I watched the movie and it was so much better. And I definitely want to rewatch this movie because it made me cry so much. It made me hurt inside and uh, it was so lovely. If you haven't seen the movie yet, I would definitely recommend. It is a very faithful adaptation, but without the cringy and problematic remarks that were made in the book. Coffee. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. An Endless Summer, which is the second book in the Summer series by C.J. Duggan. I read the entire five book series, but I recently reread the second book in the series, which is my favourite book of the all series, with my two favourite characters and favourite couple in the entire series. And I just can't get enough of it. I love them together. They have such great chemistry. And I will think I will... I will reread this book over and over and over again because I always fall in love with their romance and their relationship and especially their banter, like they're very sarcastic and very witty with each other. Poncho. Pick a book with the main character as an amazing best friend and I went with City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I actually have this book but it is in my deck of books that my phone is perched on right now so I can't show it to you but I am specifically talking about Simon who is Clary's best friend and it is mostly based on Shadowhunters, the TV show. I am not a huge fan of this book series. I've read the first two books. I really didn't like it, but I do faithfully watch the show and I'm quite enjoying it. And I really like Simon in the show. He's very sarcastic and very, very funny. He's basically the comedic relief in the show. And I think he's an amazing best friend to Claire. He's always there for her, even when she's not really there for him. He never abandons her. Gutters. 
Pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy as you would imagine it. And this is going to sound wrong on so many levels, but actually American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis, and I do realize how creepy this cover is, but this is one of my favorite books of all time. This is the ultimate masterpiece, the crown of Brett Easton Ellis' writing career. It's basically a satire on the way people live and how they go to fancy restaurants and name drop and whether all of these fancy brands and spend so much time on the way they they present themselves in public and I really love the way he describes that in this book. Obviously this American Psycho is about a serial killer and I'm not talking about that specific part of it but I'm just talking about how Alice writes the New York City that this story takes place in. Cuddly Pet. Pick a book that has out of this world or very enjoyable animals in it. And I could only think of one book, and that is Kissing Angel by Susan Elizabeth Phillips. This book is set in a circus, and it obviously has circus animals. The main character takes care of these circus animals, that is her job in this circus. And they are so cute, she really develops a bond with them, and you get to see so much of them. And it was basically my favourite aspect of this story. I only just now realised how weird this must look, but it's been a while. And I've put on lipstick, so that's why I've so I'm certainly wearing lipstick. I thought I should explain that. Anyway, last prompt of this tag is Sweet Treat. Pick a book that's the sweetest ending. I went with a Morgan Matson book, Since You've Been Gone. This is the first book I read by Morgan Matson, and I've read two of her books, and this one was my favorite so far. I could really relate to the main character. She has a very relatable personality. She's introverted like really introverted but I, I got sometimes really annoyed with her personality it felt a bit too quirky a bit too weird and I was just annoyed that she was like don't touch me all the time since this is a romance slash friendship book um but the sweetest ending I loved her romance with the male main character I felt like he was a very weird sort of love interest as well like they were ve two very unique characters and I wouldn't think that, um, they would mesh as well as they did but I really like the ending of this book and their relationship throughout it. But also the friendship aspect of this book was really good as well. I didn't like the main character's best friend who suddenly disappeared. And I didn't like her reason for it. But I did feel like the main character went through a lot of growth and that really showed through at the ending of this book. This is my rainy day book tag. Let me know down below what your answers would be to any of these questions. If you disagree or agree with me on any of these choices, I would love to know. I'm not going to tag anyone because I, I'm not that good at tagging people. If you want to do this tag, just do it. You know, it's, it's free. You, you're not going to get punished if you do it while well, you haven't been tagged by anyone. Anyway, I really enjoyed doing this tag. It's been a while. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And leave me a like and maybe subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.